Holy crap, we're going to Australia. So we are about to head to the airport for an incredibly long flight from Detroit to LA, uh, four and a half hours, LA to Sydney, I think 13 hours, and then Sydney to Perth, another five hours, plus all the layovers in between, should be about 32 hours. Let's rock and roll. So, two and a half week tour in Australia. We are playing Body Bag, our new single, for the very first time, and it is incredibly difficult on the double bass. My legs are gonna be screaming. I am working really hard to pull it off. We're gonna see what happens here. Fifty-four, that's pretty close. A bunch of, I have a ton of room. Okay, we can take some stuff out. One flight down. Dom spilled an entire glass of water on me and apparently it shows. That's not water. Does it look pretty normal? That's a normal thing? Yeah. The airport? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Delays. Hey, put the camera on me. Okay. LAX is the worst airport in the history of airports. Perth, Australia. We have officially made it to the hotel, which completes our 40 hours of travel from when we originally left Detroit. I think the total sleep counter is about maybe four and a half to five hours. And the other update is uh, literally as soon as I got here, my wife texted me that she has COVID. So I'm trying to navigate that right now. Um, I'm clearly by myself. We have our first show in a day and a half. Hopefully I can play it. Hopefully I don't have COVID. I have no idea what's gonna happen. All right, we are rested. We are still stuck in this hotel room. So you know what time it is. It's time for a hotel tour. I got a door. Here's a bathroom. I got a shower. Fat bath. A toilet. All right, it's time to settle it once and for all. Do Australian toilets flush the opposite way? The answer is they don't flush anyway. They just kind of flush down. Back to the tour. A bed, this lamp, a full home office, a magazine, this chair. Pray for me. Good morning. That's it? It's a very small amount. I don't know how coffee works. Good news. We are negative. Hooray! We dodged a bullet. So we're playing the show. That's good news. We haven't practiced the new song in almost two weeks. That's bad news. Let's see how this goes. Here's a situation while we were rehearsing the new song, Body Bag. Eric passed out. Uh, we were all freaking out. His heart rate got up to uh, about 210 BPM. Oh my gosh. Which is the tempo of Body Bag. Yes, it is. The doctor said quite literally performing Body Bag caused this. It seems like um, he actually has a heart condition. It's an hour and a half for the show right now. He's still in the hospital, and we don't know if he's gonna make it to the show. Let's like play a show, maybe? Yeah. Holy hell. He showed up to the venue from the hospital 20 minutes before the show. I'm telling you to play down I gotta fill you guys in on a few things. While Eric was in the hospital, Brian's cat ran away. Then the next day, we were flying from Perth to Adelaide, just like a quick like three hour flight. We ended up being in the airport all day because our flight got canceled, then it got delayed like three times. Then <laughs> we played the show last night and about two songs in, Eric kind of goes down. He's not doing well. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what's going on and we're all very tired, but today we fly from Adelaide to Melbourne to go shoot a music video. What else could possibly go wrong? It's broken. <sighs> Frick. Frick. 
My boarding pass is all ripped. Oh, I ripped mine, I'm sorry. Oh no, it's broken. We can fix this. <laughs> yes, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Music video shoot day. Got a bunch of secret lights in these performance shots here. Got a blue one right here, an overhead one right here, some on these posts. We've got a nice blue light back there, and of course, silent heads. Let's do it. saga continues two very interesting things so today our tickets went on sale for the next tour and in one day like a third of the tour is totally sold out which is amazing however on the opposite end of that I just got a call from my wife that she's going to the emergency room right now um, because she has chest pains we have no idea what it is which is really scary when you are literally on the opposite end of the world. Sometimes, you know, you can have these really cool things like on the outside that, that seem really amazing, but um, sometimes a lot of the behind the scenes stuff can be really scary. Yeah, I feel incredibly anxious right now, hoping that things get better. All right, people, it's time for an update. My wife, out of the hospital, feeling better about that situation. Eric, doing better. I'm in Sydney right now. I've been on so many airplanes, it's very tiring. Number four, Body Bag, this song that has been very difficult for me. I'm trying to clean it up with each and every show. Those fast double kicks. One thing that's been super interesting, I've actually been seeing these comments from you guys about me saying like, Gabe used to be a drummer that was like playing at church. It's super cool to see how he's developing into this metal drummer. These shows have been really great. We have two more left. My second update, so I was trying to get ready for the day, put some deodorant on, but I accidentally just dropped the lid in the toilet. Frick. Let's talk about the kit that I'm playing with on this tour. We've got this beautiful pearl reference matte black drum set. Honestly, I am really loving it. I didn't actually know that this uh, color existed, but good God, it's gorgeous. Yes, sir. Ooh. That's when you smack it? Yeah. Yeah, no, this is when you just hit it really hard. Um, here we go. 